Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. We've invaded you, noob. These guys invaded me, and then the classic right here. The classic, you think you're safe. Now, this guy doesn't have flash. Phew. Nice. Nice. With 15 seconds to go, just a Aryan and Nautilus. Yeah, I'll stay for his raptors. You would think that this would be easy. You would think the enemy bottling would just concede. Like, more often than not, the enemy's support will just come to pester me. So, we'll see. I'm going to be taking these raptors, but Mr. Nautilus going to be doing his thing. Auto Q. And then we're going to auto Q smite. And then I'm level 2. And it's like Nautilus, grow up, man. We're going to be getting out of here, no problem. <laughs> we're going to be getting out of here, no problem. Don't worry about it. W. Moving. Q. And then I'm going to need my support's help, that's for sure. The Nautilus does not have flash, so we'll just wait things out, see if they walk in my jungle. Alright guys, let's get level 3. I want to do this in a way that's good for me, so I can do... And of course, Q. I'm going to do my wolves, and then I'm going to do my red buff. And that will put me very close to level 3. Meanwhile, if they do my blue gromp, those are the worst camps for me, so we'll kind of play it off. Off feeling here. Every single Belbeth game I record, huh? No normal start. Anyways, playing Belbeth into Garen Jungle. Garen Jungle. And then against Nautilus support, apparently, too. And my main goal here is to have to fight on my strong tempo. So right now I'm trying to get level 3 and then attack the Garen once again. By doing the Raptors, these are an easy camp for me. So the Wolves, the Raptors, and then the Red, that will give me level 3. I could do Wolves, Red, and then. Um, the Krugs as well to get level 3, it's just, um, I think the Krugs would deal a little bit more damage to me. Whereas doing it like this, at least with the W second, means that I can hit level 3, have my red buff, and then be in an okay spot. Especially once I finish that Scuttle Crab. And then, I can try to fight the Garen with my red buff and my level 3. Both of us will be level 3, but at least we'll have something to work with here. Get that point in our E. This is the new patch in which Belveth's E gives less damage reduction, but that's alright. See if Ari wants to make a mistake and die. Not today. Alrighty. And Garen level 2 at the top lane. That's the maneuver. Surely he dies. That's a whole Warwick there. Care. Alrighty. Mr. Garen. Into the Gromp. Uh, a great choice. He's going to use his abilities. And let's get in there. We're going to Q up. And miss the W like no one's going to Q. Auto. Auto Q. Auto. And we're going to Auto. And then we're going to auto E. See ya. My bad. I thought I'd be able to uh, Q flash out. That turret shot took us out. Well, we got 1300, so let's get the Noon Quiver and get the fuck. Let's get back out there. Listen, we're going to go right back to his respawning raptors. Hey, Bob, welcome back to the jungle. We're playing Belfeth into Garen. The runes, Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Coop. Deal more damage, take more damage. Secondaries, Domination Tree, Eyeball, and Relentless. You know, they're making it where you can't build Doran's Blade um, next patch. So I've been not doing that, and I also think the Inspiration Tree may gain, gain some value once that's the case, because you'll be able to save 300 gold on boots, but we'll see. We'll see how things ship, shape up. We can move into this guy's uh, Raptors here, because he has to reset to a side camp, probably the Golems or his, his Gromp. So we can take this, go back to our jungle, full clear up towards top, and be level 5, and we're in a good spot. If the Garen tries to gank bot, we can always respond to that, but right now I'm playing on the tempo in which I clear my camps and then ramp up. With the Noon Quiver, we clear way faster than a <laughs> Garen jungle. Pick me Garen jungle, I'm a normal guy. I swing my sword. But with the changes to Belveth, you get less damage reduction on the E, and it's like, that's fine, that's the exact same nerf that they did before. They didn't really stop Belveth from doing the early game stuff that she does just mitigates uh, the like highest level of play for Belveth, so effectively didn't change anything for the noob Belveth. Now, I'm not calling you a noob, Bob. Calm down. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're at the beginning steps, you know. Can we be humble enough to be a beginner, huh? Oh, you think you're the guy of all time. You've won three games on Belveth, schmack. And you think you're real hot. Now, these guys are killing my top laner, but that's all right. We're going to finish our camps, get level 5, clean up that top wave, and then go from there. Schmack. Okay. Yeah, that's a big top wave to go to waste. The minion XP right now isn't the greatest for us. Once you hit about 15 minutes in, then the minion XP is more useful for you. Oh, E. Oh, I don't have my E. Man, I could have got that one with the Q. Now, we don't want to take all these with Warwick coming, but we do want to get what we can. 
If they get the Void Grubs, it's kind of whatever. My Jason Jin can use Void Grubs, but it's not the most pivotal thing here. I'm going to finish my Golems, and then by that time, I probably see if they did the Void Grubs or not. If they didn't, I'll just go for those. I have my top laner. My top laner has ulti. We're in a good spot. I can probably get level 6 off two of them, and then get my form off the third Void Grub. So let's see. Yeah, yeah. See, Garen and Nautilus are going to be bots. Oh, I see. <laughs> they, they already did. They basically already did them. Let's finish this up and get a reset off. Schmack. Schmack. In a good spot, Bob. 48 CS to 22. Garen jungle. I'm ganking on Garen jungle. Recurve bow boots a uh, sweeper control ward to the bot side. A whole lot of everything. We want this turn to be very long. We want this turn to get us all the way to Kraken Slayer, which is 1,000 gold. So that could be two and a half full clears, or it can be a whole lot of plays into an objective reset. Looking at the map, um, my lanes are winning, so into the river we go, skipping the camps. Moving into the enemy jungle, and from there we have better positions to attack. Playing on the tempo, whenever you're stronger, you have a level advantage and an item advantage. You want to go attack the enemy, so that's what I'm looking to do here. Control word in the red side. Now these guys, pretty unlikely to move up, but you never know. Q, W, auto, Q, auto, E. Q, auto, Q, Q. Flash. I just don't want to take too much damage. <laughs> like, even though it's just a charm, it's like, I don't want to get chunked at all, man. I want to farm my camp, man. Yeah, there's Misfortune. This is warded. Let's do Dragon Bob. Let's just rinse. We got our one kill. That's all, he, all we need. Q. Q. W. Q. Auto. Okay. Nice. We got a flash, too. These guys are just trolling. Where the enemy team keeps moving towards the play, they're wasting their own fucking time. Alrighty, we'll start the dragon and then clear our camps up, but we got the Kraken Slayer inevitably here. The only uh, the only maneuver here is to clear all the camps and reset. The Garen is so screwed. 220 on the Void Grubs and we're good to go. Bong. Yes sir, a ruby crystal and a dagger. That's all you brought to the plate today, huh? This sort of stage two, as I'm farming the camps, right, you may be thinking, like, if any play happens, I need to go. Or at least that's how, like, I've been coaching a lot of low elo players recently, and it's like, that's kind of the mo maneuver I see. Like, a play happens, they just drop everything and go, like, no, 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 Bob. Kraken Slayer, camps, levels, then the play, okay? But what if my team's mad? What if I get yelled at by my manager? Shut up, man. Grow some balls. Keep maxing that Q. The Q is for our clear speed. We're definitely just ramping into level 9 here. Smite immediately and then using the E so that our second E comes up. Basically as soon as we finish our Qs on the Krugs up here. I was watching LS play Belveth recently. I told, showed him that one. Now he has no excuses though, he's played quite a bit of Belveth. You don't know the start Raptors and E the red immediately? Now am I calling LS a noob? Well, maybe I am. Maybe I am. Let's get this Kraken Slayer. Not looking for tier 2 boots just yet, and I'm also not thinking Bork, so I'll get a control word in. Since my mid lane died, we'll just reset here. And then look to clean up that farm. Now we're entering the mid game 10 minutes. At 15 minutes ish, you can start taking minion waves as Belveth. The minion waves give you way more XP. This will give me okay XP, but I'm still looking to ramp up. I'm looking to get level 9, and I'm looking to punish the enemy when they make a mistake. We don't have to do anything preemptive right now. I have the resource ramp, and the enemy has to deal with it. So they have control of the top side, right? We'll just play for bot side. That's fine. I can take that bot turret with my Jin. I don't have to play for Void Grubs, because what do Void Grubs help us do, Bob? That's right, take the turret. I can just walk at the bot lane here. The enemy Nautilus showed top. That will show him to exist. Sweeper and moving. Now, Misfortune's dead on my screen. Point into our EQ, and then we are going to walk right into her smite. Q, auto, auto, Q, E. Moving. Not using the W. Just the Qs. Remember, the Qs are your damage and your dash. 
if you're spending time to use a W in a spot like that where it's all about the dive onto Misfortune, uncontested, yeah, it's been too much time. Alrighty, you guys got the Void Grubs, but we killed your ADC and we got your turret deal. Not gonna reach into his jungle, just gonna, again, clear my camps back up towards top. This, this, As soon as I get these camps done and I'm level 9, then the gameplay really starts here, Bob. Even though Belveth is an aggressive early champion, you can still play it like this in which you power up into the mid game. Once the mid game commences, if you're strong, you have a really good chance to get a grillion kills rather than a couple kills in the early game. So yeah, that play happens mid. Not even a single thought in my head. I'm not going to that play. I don't care. Me farm camp. Me so good. And the enemy's probably feeling bad. They got a losing bot lane. They got a nothing bird jungle. I could stop for the Gragas right here. We have time to play with. One minute on the dragon. Odds of this being warded kind of high, but if Gragas overcommits, there's his body slam. Q. And we're going to QW. Moving. And then we're going to smite, auto, auto, auto. It's fine, Q, auto, auto, run, Q. Don't get flashed on. This play doesn't need to happen, so we're backing off. That play doesn't give me a turret, it doesn't give me an objective, so we're out. Q, E, Q, W, Q, ah. It's fine. They're all topside. I'll be able to get to the dragon faster than them. They do have quite a bit of CC. They're all pretty tanky. That makes our second item pretty obvious. What do you think, Bob? Tank, tank, tank. Damage, damage. You nailed it once again, Black Cleaver. You're my brightest pupil. You're my smartest dumbass. Alrighty, to the, <laughs> to the dragon. Dragon gives us a little bit of scaling. It's also the next objective on the board. If the enemy wants to fight, well, you guys just spent your ulties topside. So with the Black Cleaver, this gives us AD, HP, Ability Haste, and most importantly, that percentage armor shred against these tanky targets. Not only do you endure their initial burst with that high amount of HP, but you also shred their armor, empowering the Kraken Slayer and the Bork. You're going to Q, auto, 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 auto Q, auto, auto Q, auto E. And then we're going to W, auto, auto, Auto Q, auto ulti, bong, come on, ah, uh, come on guys, I need just a little bit of damage from them and my ulti kills. Ulti deals more damage the lower the target is. Let's finish off this turret and then look for that dragon. Nice. Since the enemy attacks, what do we do, Bob? That's right, we punish him. Looking for the play myself, forcing the play, don't have to. Enemy's a noob. And they always will be. No matter how good I get, the enemy stays a noob, that's for sure. Now we can start side landing. It's around 15 minutes, so I could go to that bot wave. Instead of going back to my camps, I have two options. The bot wave or play for the Rift Herald. The enemy is going to have ulties over my team in a sense. So I'll play for the bot wave now, and I could still just always move towards that Rift Herald. Now Jace is going to be pissed if I take that bot wave. My bad. I need Black Cleaver, man. And I'm not on my camps. Man. Let's go to the Scuttle Crab quick. Jace, you better push that whole damn thing. I don't have my empowered form, so I don't spawn the funny minions, but damn. What? I can't take a carries... I can't take a mid lane carries wave? But they're fighting bots, so that's pretty easy. Take the Rift Herald. Too many noobs down there. Can't even kill one Jace. Even... Never mind. That's Ari's Flash. Whenever doing the Rift Herald, you want to smite. Auto E. Auto, auto. And now it is going to do a swing. Never mind, she's trolling. If you get it below 7k, it does a swing and then it doesn't auto attack you, so you don't receive the reduced damage. But whatever, we're gonna clear it fast enough. Let's take that top turret, that's the next objective on the board, and then we can go farm. Gragas is dead. If I'm here to hit this turret, Bob, it just speeds up the whole damn process. Go ahead and smite this. A little snack on the way out. Build up my stacks with the passive, auto attack that turret. And then I can go back to farm. We got three minutes on the objective. Shh, 
smacking stuff that's in my way here. Let's actually reset, get on the board with the Black Cleaver, and work from there. So I want the Black Cleaver and I want the Null Magic Mantle. Get a control word and I'll clear down towards the dragon. The Null Magic Mantle is going to give us that Merc Treads against Gragas, Ari, and the Nautilus, and we'll really start functioning like a bruiser. And then we can go Titanic third, giving us a lot of HP. So the ability to get hit and then also hit the enemy, that's what we're looking for. When the enemy has so much CC, you really gotta stack some HP items. You have a couple options, but I'm going with Black Cleaver Titanic this game. Both just giving me a lot of HP as well as okay damage. Don't have to do the Bork, don't have to do... Uh, I don't even know, Death Dance. Death Dance Wits End has become pretty popular since the rank 1 North American player. Is a Bell Veth main, and that's like his build, but yeah, I'm good. Now I'll get some HP personally. So no camps. Alrighty, the farming phase is done. Let's go ahead and move up into the enemy jungle here. Now taking a fight into Garen, he might have his Ari behind him. Auto Q, auto, auto Q, auto, auto, and there's Ari. Q, W. Auto, moving. Q. No harm, no foul whenever you have the empowered form. One of the benefits of the empowered form is that you get over walls. Ugh, noob alert. Eh, you don't have to do it like this, man. Q, moving. Q, W. Auto, auto, Q, E. Ulti. And now care. We're walking into Gragas and Ari. My bad, Garen and Ari. Moving. Moving. Q, W. Auto, auto. Ulti. Bong. Let's push mid. They have no one to defend this shit. Kill the bad guy, take the objective. Nice. Let's take this guy's blue side. We don't want to keep shoving here. Want to set up for the dragon coming up, but this guy took my blue side, so it's just a matter of time until I take his. A Garen jungle. Garen jungle doesn't have time to do that sort of shit without a punish. Sorty. W. Auto, 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 auto. Yeah, I know you have Gragas behind you, but like... <laughs> All right, yeah, you want, you're a big man, huh? You're a real strong guy. Did you eat your breakfast this morning? Fuck off. All right, let's go to Dragon. I can just wait in their red side for a long time, or I can help hit that bot turret when Jace gets the shove. Oh, I shouldn't have used my down cues, eh? Push, push. If he doesn't push it, I can. It's fine. I got this Rift Herald to drop, so we got places to be. Thresh wants to force a fight mid. Personally, I think you're a noob. Well, that's okay. We all start somewhere. Now, we got some problems here. There's going to be some bad guys coming down here, so I guess we can't hit the turret. Got a lot of gold to spend. But these guys are overreaching right here. We're going to QW. Miss that W, but that's okay. We're going to auto, and we're going to auto, auto. <laughs> He's just dead. Garen jungle. Moving, Q, auto, 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 Q, W, auto, Q, auto, moving, Q, ulti. Let's take this guy's red buff and then play for that dragon. Saving our forward Qs so that we can get to the dragon here. Killing Gragas don't help me, man. I want to kill dragon, do my camps, and then reset. Play for the Baron. The Baron is the true juice. My team's stronger than theirs, so we could probably force a Baron fight if we wanted to. I could also play for side lane still, so... Gives me options. We already have the Merc Treads, we're looking for Titanic. Now, Titanic is pretty fucking expensive, so I'll stay farming for now. We got level 13, so that's our E max. Past this point, we don't get overtly stronger, it's just gonna be our utility. We're building HP, and then we'll be maxing that W. More points in the W increases the slow duration and reduces the cooldown. That's about all it does. Q. Smite. Q. Auto W. Moving. You win. You win. Back to the camps. What? Guys. Guys, the bot turret. What's the deal? Guys, it's not barren time. It's it's laning time. Everyone's skipping their farm. Anyways, 
Merc Treads, and then into Titanic here. We're going to do the Tunneler Ruby Longsword. The Tiamat? Nah. Bob, we're in the mid game. What's the mid game? That's right. Probably team fights. HP helps us way more in the team fight. We're going to have to get hit by multiple people. There's the charm. There goes my ADC. QW. Moving. Q. Auto. He's fine. Q. Nice hook, but. Nice. Q. W goes wide. Feared. Auto, 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 ulti. Bong. Time for Baron, boys. Enemy did the exact same mistake they did earlier. Overforcing at mid into getting punished. What did we have to do? Be in position. That's it. With the Baron, we get overtly juiced as Velvet. Nothing's going to beat Baron for you in the mid and late game. Because you get the pushing power, you get the form. You deny the enemy Baron, you get more XP, so does your team, etc, etc. We're going to start sidelining now. With Baron buff, we skip all of the camps, and then look for the sideline turrets. Since everyone resets, so will I. Get my Titanic Hydra, a control ward, give everyone that red buff, and then I'll go sideline. Titanic Hydra also helps us with the split push. So this item gives us 50 AD, 550 HP, and then on hit passive, as well as an auto attack reset. Alright, let's get up there, Bob. Now with side landing here, past 17 minutes ish, you start getting normal XP from minions as a jungler. So if we side lane, we go level 14 to 16. Even if we farmed all the camps, we would only be level 15. So this is how we create a massive lead between ourselves and the enemies, as well as just getting more gold and XP by pushing down like this. If the enemy groups up at all, oh my god, oh my god, they're gonna be feeling my wrath. Push, 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 push. Hello. Moving. Keep pushing mid, boys. Get the hell away from me. It's supposed to be a solo endeavor here. Yep. Yep. W, moving. Yep, should have stayed mid. <laughs> it's my auto, auto, Q, auto. Q. Okay, he's gone. Yaren's pretty fast. Yeah, that's about the only defense they have. I can just keep whittling away at the... Keep whittling away at the turret with the Baron minions. Waiting for these guys to push bot as well. Well, you can't hook me right there, can you? Q. Auto. 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 Q. Auto. 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 You guys really bit off more than you can chew, eh? <laughs> Auto, 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 Q. Auto, 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 Q. <laughs> well played. Well played. What rank? You guessed it, Bob. Master tier. We'll wait for next wave. My team can push. They're going to have to deal with that guy down there. Heal off the Grump, and we're back at it. Real normal champ we're playing. Look, Bob, we're almost level 16. It's only Misfortune, so we can take the turret right in front of her. If we overreach, then Ari and Nautilus are behind her. Let's go to Dragon. Get that Dragon Soul. That's about as much as we can push. It's real simple, Bob. With the Baron buff, you push. Now, that's what they don't want you to know. That's what Big Macro doesn't want you to know. They think that you have to fight into a fight into a fight into a fight. You need a college degree to get a job. What if I just took Pop Turret instead? How about that, Mom? Get this Ocean Soul, I guess. Now, with level 16, we're entirely juiced. There's, like, not getting much stronger than this. So I guess we'll take this. Continue to push with what's left of, like, my team. And then go from there. Just kind of play it by ear. Resetting right here would be pretty stupid, though, because my team's pushing. What item am I building? You got me, man. Probably some magic resist. Nice, we got an inhib. Phew. Play for the next inhib, get the three super, or the two super minions spawning, and we're good to go. I'll show you guys to exist. It's all about the turrets. Go ahead, Nautilus. Moving. Q. 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 
W. Auto, auto, Q. Auto, auto, Q. Auto, auto, auto. Ulti. Bomb. Push. Q, W. Q. <clears throat> Next minion wave's coming eventually. I don't have to dive to kill them, I can just hit the turret. That's what Big Macro doesn't want you to know. Alright, GG. Final score 12, 2, and 3. Kraken Slayer dealing 2,000. And that's that. Alrighty. Bell Vef. Not that hard. <laughs> Not that hard of a champion. Was I against Garen Jungle? Yes. But, it's simple, man. He made a mistake and I punished. We just keep perpetually punishing him. He invades my red side level 1. What do I do? Invade his red side. <laughs> they follow me around. What do I do? Endure, endure, and then turn on to him. Oh yeah, yeah. So final score 12, 2, and 3. Final damage dealt 18,000. And then damage taken 21,000. GG. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more big macro tips. Alrighty. Peace. See ya.